Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss about the muscles of the tongue. So let's begin. We'll study the muscles of the tongue under following topics which are introduction, classification, intrinsic muscles and extrinsic muscles. Tongue is a muscular organ located in the floor of the mouth. They comprise of skeletal muscles which are voluntary. A middle fibrous septa divides the tongue into right and left halves. The muscles of the tongue are broadly classified into extrinsic muscles and intrinsic muscles. The extrinsic muscles of the tongue are palatoglossus, hyoglossus, styloglossus and genioglossus. Now here is a closer view of all the extrinsic muscles of the tongue. The palatoglossus. The origin of palatoglossus is from the oral surface of the palatin aponeurosis. The insertion is by it discerns in the palatoglossal arch to the side of the tongue at the junction of oral and pharyngeal part. It pulls up the root of the tongue, approximate the palatoglossal arches, and thus closes the oropharyngeal isthmus. Hyoglossus. It originates from the whole length of greater cornua and lateral part of the hyoid bone. It gets inserted into the side of the tongue between styloglossus and inferior longitudinal muscle of the tongue. It depresses the tongue, makes the dorsum convex and retracts the protruded tongue. Styloglossus It originates from the tip and part of anterior surface of styloid process whereas it gets inserted into the side of the tongue. It pulls the tongue upwards and backwards. Genioglossus Genioglossus is a fan-shaped bulky muscle which originates in the upper genior tubercle of mandible. It has three fibers which are upper, middle and lower fiber. The upper fibers insert into the tip of the tongue. The middle fibers insert into the dorsum of the tongue whereas the lower fibers into the hyoid bone. The actions of each fibers are the upper fibers would retract the tongue whereas the middle fibers depresses the tongue. The lower fibers pulls the posterior part of the tongue forward and protrudes the tongue. Therefore, this muscle is called as life-saving muscle. So here is another picture depicting all your extrinsic muscles of the tongue. Now let's move on to the intrinsic muscles of the tongue. These are superior longitudinal muscle, inferior longitudinal muscle, transverse and vertical muscles. The superior longitudinal muscle originates from the fibrous tissue deep to the mucous membrane on the dorsum of the tongue and midline lingual septum. It gets inserted into the overlying mucous membrane. It acts by shortening the tongue. The inferior longitudinal muscle. It originates from the fibrous tissue beneath the mucous membrane stretching from the tip of the tongue longitudinally back to the root of the tongue and the hyoid bone. It gets inserted into the mucous membrane of the tongue dorsum. It shortens the tongue. Transverse muscle. It lies as a sheet on either side of the midline in a plane that is deep to the superior longitudinal muscle but superficial to the genioglossus muscle. It gets inserted into the submucous fibrous tissue in the lateral margin of the tongue. It acts by increasing the thickness of the tongue. The vertical muscle. It originates from the border of the anterior part of the tongue and it makes the tongue broad. So here is the picture showing the superior longitudinal muscle and the inferior longitudinal muscle. In this picture we get to see about the transverse muscle and the vertical muscles. Thank you for watching.